So I'm Allison from One Seed Architecture. I'm the architect of Bird's Wing Passive House Plus, and I'm on site today for the Passive House Open House Days with Nikoon Contracting. This is Bird's Wing Passive House. It's got its name from the roof line folding, like the wings of a bird. We're currently modeled at just over 13 kilowatt hours per meter squared per annum for our annual heating load, basically 0% overheating days. And in addition, they just finished a blower door test. We're at 0.29 air changes per hour and we only needed 0.4 to hit um, Passive House Plus. The walls are a Larson Trust system so two by six structural wall plywood over that which is our air barrier vapor barrier nine and a half inch Larson Trust TGI with blown in cellulose and then our WRB on the outside which is our secondary air barrier. And then our roof as well is kind of a unique assembly with scissor trusses, which are actually packed with insulation. But outboard of that, um, it's a total thermal bridge free design because the eaves over top are two by sixes on edge. Below the eaves, we have our uh, WRB wrapping continuously over the gables with absolutely no thermal bridging. From foundation all the way to the roof, it's just a rectangle with a single notch in it, which you can see at the entry. And by keeping that super continuous, we don't have any overhangs or any sort of decks over living spaces, which keeps the envelope nice and simple. So let me take you inside. Uh, so right now we're on the entry porch for the first unit in this duplex. It is a unique layout for a duplex in that it's stacked. So instead of a front back unit or a side by side unit, the two duplex units are one on top of each other. And the reason for that was almost entirely driven by passive house and performance, because what we want is our south facing exposure to get a lot of light to both units. Uh, but right here you can see we've got the TGI width and then you've got the blown in cellulose between and our air barrier here, which is fully taped. And when we come in, this will be the kitchen right here. So now we're in the kitchen for the first floor unit. Very open concept space here where we've got a living room um, just to the side here with large south facing windows. So we've got windows on all sides, which helps with solar heat gain for sure, but passive ventilation primarily in that there's air flowing all the way through to the back of the house at the north elevation as well. So if we keep going through here, it's onto their primary bedroom, which has north facing windows that are operable and an ensuite bathroom. And then downstairs, there's a second bedroom and a lock off suite. And the benefit of the lock off suites is that it provides a secondary suite within each duplex. So it gives them flexibility. It can be a rental suite. It could be an additional space for a live in caretaker for family members. They can just expand their home uh, to take over that space as well. And here's a good time to talk about the windows, which are by Cascadia. They're fiberglass windows, passive house certified, locally manufactured. And our front doors will also be local. They're wood from Fenster um, on Vancouver Island. So this is the other unit. Um, this is the full floor plate of the house. Um, it's a two bedroom, two bathroom, plus kitchen, living, dining, all on one floor here. Again, we have south facing windows. And for this unit, the main entry is just below it. So the bird wing wrap around here creates a nice covered south facing porch off of the kitchen. And as far as shading strategies are concerned, we found that with even with zero, overheating days, we didn't have the need for any shading structures. But also the climate data in the PHPP is historical. So it's already out of date the day we use it. And we also don't really know what's going to be happening with climate change. So we worked with the CPHD, the energy modeling to test it out. How would it perform if we were in like Toronto? How would it perform if we were in Palm Springs? And what we found was that even in those scenarios, we could still certify as a passive house, a few more overheating days. So we incorporated a mini split system for heating and cooling. Um, and also there's a location where we could provide external shading, but it wasn't required currently. So we just have the eaves on our roof overhang, as well as the fact that, you know, this porch is shading the front door below. And with all that incorporated, the house is performing really well. Mm -hmm. 